Today I'm just going to show you guys how to put together an AR pistol kit. Uh, we're going to do it one step at a time. Alright, first thing we're going to do and can be one of the hardest parts is just put in your takedown pins. Much easier if you have a little takedown pin tool. Alright, front takedown pin. Got your hole right there. Take your tool. Line it up, drop your spring, put in your detent, push it with the tool once it's lined up, and twist. All right, now it's captured in there. If you mess this up, that detent will just go flying out, so be careful with that. Got the channel on the bottom of the front takedown pin, which is the longer one. The detent's gonna lock into one of these two holes to keep it open or closed. You kinda just wanna slide it in while you're pushing the rod out. You gotta be quick. Probably have to press down once the pin gets over it. And we're in. It's like the hardest part. Ooh, this one's stiff. But front takedown pin done. All right, to put in the back takedown pin, you'll have to assemble the buffer tube assembly. So first thing you're gonna do, take the shorter pin, line the groove up with the hole in the back right here. Whoop. Drop your detent down. And put some pressure on it just to show that you're actually in there. It's locked in. Slide that in all the way. All right. A buffer tube. You have your castle nut. You want to have the bigger notches facing the back of the buffer tube. This is what you'll tighten down with your castle nut wrench. Then your plate, you wanna have the protruding end facing inwards, because it's gonna index inside this. Also, screw it all the way back. It will make it a lot easier to get this all together. I'm basically going to screw until right before it gets to this hole because that's where you put your buffer catch and the spring in there which you can kind of just set in there while you're doing this. So what you're going to do is once you're hitting the catch you're just going to push it down screw it the extra turn and so it's kind of it's held in place right now. What you're going to want to do is you have to get this spring in flat. So just take a little tool, whatever works, kind of flatten it out. Push the plate down, making sure the spring stays straight on, screw your castle nut on by hand, back takedown and buffer tube assembly is in, it's very stiff, brand new, and then the catch right here, that's what keeps your spring And these were just spares, in case you lose them. All right, now we'll do the magazine catch, probably the easiest part. Drop it in, threaded side, obviously, it'll go through the hole, fits perfectly. Take your spring over here. Once the spring is over it, Just 
just get it started on there. It's on. All right, once it's just started on there, you're just gonna push it through. And you're gonna screw down on this side. Push it in a little bit extra. You don't wanna nick your brand new receiver. All right, mag release is done. All right, then we'll put in the bolt catch. It's right here. We have a little hole inside where the plunger and spring will go. The roll pin will go through there. The first thing we're going to do is kind of get the roll pin started. Just hold it with your fingers. A few taps. All right, it's started. So then you'll take your plunger and your spring. You just feed that onto the spring, drop it in the hole, or miss completely. You can always just drop the spring in and then put the plunger in too. Okie dokie. Alright, slide the bolt catch in place. And I have to make sure the hole is lined up. And then just get tap away. It's good to have a brass hammer or else, or I guess you could tape this off um, if you don't have a brass hammer. Or else you're probably going to mar a brand new receiver. You can also use a punch to kind of give you some space off of it. Try to make it flush. That's it. All right, then we're gonna install the trigger. Um, we're using a drop-in trigger on this gun, but I'm gonna show you how to assemble the just a mill spec. First thing to do, have it oriented like this, is you'll want this lip under there, and then you just kind of stretch those over it. Good. You've got this spring, you've got the bigger end, we'll go in there. That's going to wedge it down in there bigger end kind of keeps it locked in place so it shouldn't go anywhere take your release line up that notch and when you insert it into the receiver you're just going to have to line up the holes and drive the pin through then with your hammer it's going to take it you want this part of the spring to be on this side so just start it there, same thing, just work it over. It can be a bit of a pain sometimes. All right, that's all there is. So we take this, just drop it down in there. It's going to be under tension because of that spring. So what you're going to do is just push down on it until you get the holes to line up. I'm looking at the camera and not this. Where do I put my pins? All right, take your trigger pin and get the trigger set in there. Hold it with your finger. All right, we got it started. Make sure this is lined up properly. You'll have to give it some tension with your thumb and finish it in there.
All right, so that's all locked in place. All right, the hammer can be a little bit tricky. I have to hold it between my legs or something. So you take it in this orientation, you wanna hook the legs around the back of the trigger, and then you'll just under spring tension, push it all the way forward till it's right there. All right, once you have it in place and I'm holding it with my knees, just work this pin in. Give it a little tappy tap. All right, and your trigger's in. You'll just function check it. It should lock back like that. Make sure not to slam it into this. And it releases. All right, and you'll want to do that before you put your safety and your grip on because uh, the safety will get in the way of you trying to drop the back of your trigger down into there. And it'll have to be cocked when you put the safety in because you can see the back of the trigger will stick up. All right, so that's putting in a normal trigger. Uh, now I want to put in a drop in real quick. throw in the drop-in trigger much easier you don't gotta mess with any of the spring tension or any of that garbage just line up these holes these come with anti-walk pins I'm just gonna feed it through unscrew the cap this just makes it easier to feed the, the pin through. Right, drop in triggers in, same thing, test it, don't break your hammer immediately. Much better trigger. At this completely arbitrary time, I'll put on the trigger guard. All right, so front one's just going to take this little screw, and the back one takes a roll pin. So we'll start with the front. Long Allen wrench. Let's find the right Allen wrench. Found the right Allen wrench. Alright, so we'll just start this in. There's only a hole on one side, so you can't mess up where you're supposed to whoop, where you're supposed to put it. And then we're just gonna tap the roll pin in. Alright, I'm gonna get a punch because it's being even a bigger pain in the ass than anticipated. We use a brass punch, so if I get flush with it, uh, it's not going to mess it up. We'll use something with a bigger face. Right. After beating the shit out of it for like two minutes. All right, those roll pins aren't hard, more just fucking annoying, but that's done. Uh, so next thing we're going to do is put in the safety and your grip, which you have to do at the same time. All right now, if you don't have like a long Allen wrench type device, it's going to be a big old pain in the ass. Right, just take the bottom cap off the grip. It's just a tab that you push in, pull off. And we're just going to leave that in there. All right. So for your safety, this isn't an ambidextrous one, it's just normal. So you're just going to slide it in. It's 
kind of got to like finagle it past the bottom of that trigger. You can kind of move the trigger around a little bit, see if it helps. Basically just get it in place. You got your hole down here. Detent, pointy end, flat end. Pointy end goes into the hole. All right, and your spring will follow behind it. The spring, however, try to keep the screw in, goes into this hole on the grip. And I lost the screw, we'll fix that later. And just wiggle it down on, make sure the spring goes in straight. Make sure to hold the grip in place so everything sets right. You don't have to over tighten it. Whoop. All right, make sure your safety works. So pull the trigger, nothing happens. Fire, click. Locks, click. All right, safety is in. Pop this cap back on the bottom. This is a SBA3, you pull down on the back part of it. Slides right on can adjust it. All right. Take your bolt and charging handle. Your upper receiver. Slide this in and push up until you reach a gap. And it will slide up in there. So you can see push, push, push up. It's in. This will run through the channel. Ooh, cat hair. This will run through the channel of the charging handle. Drop those in. Take these pins out. Not out, but you know what I mean. But I don't know. This first time is always the hardest. Because all the springs and detents are brand new. There's the front one. There's the back one. All right. And that's all you need to do. Make sure our bolt catch works. Ooh, it works. Safety's working, works. Fire. Doesn't get unsafe until it's charged. That's it. Good to go.